Yeah. Have fun with it, man. Yeah. yeah. Right. See you later, man. Thank you. Thank you for coming this evening, sir, and we do hope you thoroughly enjoy your evening. Oh, I will definitely enjoy my Nintendo experience. Thank you. Will I see you online at Brophy? Uh, you certainly will. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Hi there guys, uh, literally just came back from the Wii U midnight launch, my local store, so not many people, um, probably only about 15 people or something, you know, they did uh, midnight launches at all the EB games here in Australia, which are called GameStops over there, but um, a lot of stores don't have a lot of people, you know, they have a real big midnight launch at the big store in Melbourne City, if you go into Melbourne City, they have the big you know, everyone's there, it's like a big party, you know, but um, I just went to my local store, picked up my Wii U. Um, now, before I do the unboxing, I just want to say, um, I just want to give my opinion on Wii U, because I know a lot of people think, oh, Nintendo, blah, blah, blah. A, a, a few things, like, I really looked at it carefully. A few things come to mind. The Wii, while it was heavy on the, on the motion gaming and a lot of the games, you know, we didn't get games like, you know, Assassin's Creed or Assassin's Creed 2, for example, or... LA Noir or anything like that, we didn't get that stuff on Wii because it couldn't do HD. So the new Wii can do HD. So from now on, that back catalogue of games isn't going to be an issue. N Nintendo, Nintendo Wii U is going to have all the games that PS4, Xbox, Xbox 360, PS3 has. So software is not going to be an issue anymore. Second, secondly, when you look at the system, you've got two screens now, so you've got another screen there to interact with the game with. I don't have to press start anymore to see where the map is. All I have to do is look down and go, oh, you know, I can just glance down at the screen and I've got the map right there. That's if the developers take advantage of that. Thirdly, you've got all the social networking features. There's a camera on it. You know, you're probably going to be able to Skype with it and do all sorts of crap with it and talk to people, maybe even while you're playing games, you know. There's a headphone port on the controller itself. Um, also, Nintendo is the only company that rewards you for buying their games. So, for example, I've got here uh, Wii U Super Mario Bros. U. Straight away when I open that, I've got my Club Nintendo code in there. So I put that in and I get rewards. It might be a t-shirt, it might be a, a game, a limited edition thing. It's something. Xbox and PS3 don't offer me anything. Um, apart from that, Nintendo are the innovators on motion control. Um, the most important thing for me as a Nintendo console is having owned every, pretty much every single Nintendo console in history. NES, Super NES, N64, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Nintendo DS, 3DS, uh, GameCube, uh, Wii. Not one of them has ever fucked up on me. I've never had a red ring. I'm, I'm not saying that they don't fuck up. I'm just saying the majority of the consoles are extremely robust and well designed. So, obviously we haven't field tested the Wii U yet. But knowing Nintendo's reputation, I'm willing to bet that there's not going to be many red rings or yellow lights of death going on with the Wii, Nintendo Wii hardware. So, I just wanted to give you those, those points out there because I know a lot of people are hard on Nintendo. They're like, but Nintendo doesn't have anything! You know, and yeah, I guess that sort of sucks. But now that's not an issue anymore. And like I just said, you know, the fact that they've got Club Nintendo and, and really strong hardware and, and strong features, uh, um, it puts Nintendo ahead of the other consoles in my eyes. Whereas a lot of people are like, you know, Nintendo, blah, 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 they just talk shit about it, you know. But, I mean, really, what's Sony giving you? What's Xbox giving you? Nothing. In fact, everything on Xbox, you've got to pay for everything. You, there's no customization, there's no rewards. Same with PS3. You can customize PS3 a little bit, you can have wallpapers. You used to be able to do that on the Xbox and they took it away, you know, and, you know, I'm, you, I'm not sure about Wii U, I'm not sure what I'll be able to customize, but just getting the Club Nintendo points is just a bonus in itself. Um, I'm sorry if I'm, I'm talking like crazily fast. Um, I literally just got back from the launch. It's so hot here today. It's, it's like Aussie summer and today like the heat just hit, you know what I mean? So I'm like really hot. I just grabbed one of these Cokes out of the fridge, it's ice cold. Let me just have a sip. Oh man. I was just down at the shopping center waiting and waiting for two hours for them to finally sell it. So let's do the unboxing. So I showed you New Super Mario Brothers. That's the, co that's the cover there. Um, I played this at the EB Expo. Was quite happy with it. That's the uh, game disc there. Uh, a bit about the game disc. I'm not sure if they're Blu-ray. Um, 
they look like they don't look like DVD to me. They look like sort of dark. So I'm guessing they're going to be like high capacity discs. That's something I still need to look into actually. I'm, I'm curious about that. What sort of discs they use. Now, get the big one. That's it there. You! <laughs> we you! <laughs> I watched an unboxing with uh, Awada. He's like a Nintendo executive from Japan. Oh, it was such a cool unboxing. <laughs> it has like the whole unboxing ceremony and bows to the camera. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do it Yozzy way, mate. Let's check it out, mate. <laughs> so, uh, exclusive offer, Nintendo Network Premium. Hmm, I'll have to check that out. All right, so we'll take the flap out. That new smell. Oh yeah, it's the Nintendo difference. Oh, the trays are back. <laughs> the two trays. Do you remember the trays? When you got the Wii? Oh my god, there's two trays! Why? <laughs> of course, I got the premium one because I want it black. Is this upside down? Okay, that was upside down. Alright. Tray one has Nintendo Land. Right? It has documentation, Club Nintendo, it has uh, lots of cords, um, it has, what's under this flap, ooh, it has a, uh, a sensor bar for Wii, it has uh, what looks like, oh yeah, they're the console stands, Nintendo HDMI cable, nice, for free, it was very cool putting that in there, they can cost money, uh, that's the uh, Wii U stand, um, Gamepad cradle, but there's an actual an actual one in here which you connect the power to. The um, let's take that out. I'm not sure that's this one. Yeah, that's the one. It, that'll actually charge it. So you put the power in the back there, and that'll actually sit there and charge the cradle. Uh, sorry, sit there and charge the gamepad. Not <laughs> it'll sit on the cradle and charge the gamepad. I meant to say sorry. The heat's really affecting my brain. <laughs> um, yeah, and the others are just cords, so there's the cord for the, that's the, the gamepad charger, and then uh, that's the uh, actual console cord. So there's two cords, you're going to need two power outlets now, uh, and that's our Australian plug on the end there, which you guys are probably like, what the fuck? Their ones are on an angle. <laughs> Why is their power cord so weird? Funny thing is, when I was in LA, I was in this old um, theatre and needed to charge something and I looked at the plugs on the wall and they were the Australian sockets and I spun out I'm like what the hell and it turns out in in because I was in this old theater in the real old times in America they used to use our plugs they used to use the diagonal ones like that and this theater still had them and I plugged my thing in a charger but it wouldn't charge because in Australia we use um 240 volt whereas everywhere in America uses 110 so I didn't have enough power to charge my device <coughs> Time. Stay. Stay box. Alright, now this is the fun tray. This is the, the tray that's got the cool shit in it. Alright. How are we going for time? 21 minutes good. I have to be careful. I've only got 21 minutes left in the SD card. So this this foam, oh, it feels nice when you peel it off. It makes this nice noise. <laughs> it's sort of stuck to it, but uh, it's not sticky. I can't explain it. It's clingy. Baby. Ooh. Sexy. Love Nintendo. Even though, you know, I sort of stopped playing the Wii a bit. I, I'd never get rid of it. I love it. So that's it there. Tim K's new Wii U console. Fuck yeah. So as you can see, it's still got Mr. Flat, which has two USB ports on it and an SD card slot. Nice. Uh, sync button of course, so we can sync, power and eject. Uh, on the side we have, we have, <laughs> sorry, that's interesting, oh, these little, they must be clips if I have it on the side I think, 
but I never put my consoles on the side. Not a fan of that at all. But uh, we have two vents here for ventilation, which is good to see. But uh, consoles overheating is a big thing. And another two USB on the back. That's very cool. So a total of four USB ports on this. This is the premium console, obviously. I want it black. HDMI out power and sensor bar now the good thing is a lot of people might not know this it has the AV multi out port which is the same AV multi out port that you'll find on your Nintendo GameCube so if you want to run your Wii U on standard AV cables or component cables uh, you can do it. You just need to use the cable from your Wii. I looked that up online because when I capture video gameplay, you have to do it through component. You can't do it through HDMI because HDMI carries a signal called HDCP, which is high definition copy protection. So if you want to copy, uh, sorry, not copy, uh, capture gameplay footage, you have to do it through component. So luckily I can with that. So when Injustice comes out, I'll be able to show you guys some Injustice footage. That's the, that's the console. Back in there for a second. Now let's check out the game pad. Now the thing about the game pad, it's very light. Still blown away by it. Seriously, this thing is light. That's it there. My new Wii U. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's got two sticks now. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Yep, it's got, uh, so I can see that's the gamepad. For those of you who haven't seen it, uh, one analog stick, two analog sticks. Digital D-pad. It's a, it's a larger size D-pad, so it's for, it's good. It's not a small D-pad like on the 3DS. It's, they've actually fixed that up, and it's more for adult gamers now. Which is, you can see Nintendo's going after the adult market now. Um, even that new Ninja Gaiden game has more violence and beheadings that we're currently missing from the PS3 and Xbox version. So the Nintendo version is actually more violent. I know, right? You can't believe it. <laughs> There's a, uh, a camera here. <laughs> so I can look at my dopey face while I'm getting owned. <laughs> um, we have here uh, A, B, X, Y. The pretty much standard video game layout now. Select and start which is still using the plus and minus type style. Uh, we have here the home button, the microphone. We have here uh, one, two speakers. So I'm guessing stereo speakers on the front. Um, here we have a, a low battery indicator for the gamepad. Uh, we have here a button that says TV control. I'm not sure what that does. I'm guessing maybe that can even turn the TV off if you tune it in to the right frequency and power, which obviously turns the gamepad on and off. Uh, on the top we have here a volume control for the speakers. Volume slider, infrared sensor, uh, headphone jack, and uh, obviously where you charge at the AC power adapter there. Uh, we have uh, typical L and R buttons, and we, under that we have Z and L buttons. Uh, on the back we have our sync button of course. Uh, it looks like uh, this removable panel here, you can actually change the battery pack if something happens. That's very awesome. I'm all for that. I hate it when you can't, you know, the battery dies and you can't replace it. You've got to send the whole thing away. This is cool. You just undo two new screws and put your new battery in. So, yeah. And obviously the screen's in the middle, which um, feels a bit soft, actually. You can get, they had all sorts of cases and uh, screen protectors. And Actually, I thought I ordered screen protectors, but um, they weren't in my bag, so I have to look into that. But um, yeah, also the analog sticks are pushed down, like uh, Sony and Xbox, pretty much standard. So you're going to have no problem with the amount of buttons that they give you. So yeah, that's it for my Wii U unboxing. Uh, it's always exciting getting a new console. Um, like I said, a lot of people, you know, they argue, you know, what's Nintendo going to do this time around, or what's Sony going to do, or what's Xbox going to do. Uh, I'm pretty sure Xbox has announced they're going to have a tablet controller like, like Nintendo. And I'm pretty, pretty much certain, 9 out of 10, that PS4 will have the same shit because Sony always copy what Nintendo do. Nintendo do it first, and then Sony takes it to the next level. For example, Nintendo had the uh, analog stick first on the Nintendo 64, and then uh, Sony took it and they just added two. So they had two analog sticks. So yeah, thanks for watching, and once I'm all set up, uh, maybe I'll do a video and uh, so show you uh, the Wii U in action. Maybe I can just put it at the screen, because uh, I'm not going to be able to capture from the gamepad, which is a bit sort of annoying. I can only capture from what's on the screen. So, But yeah, um, once I've got my online handle set up, I might uh, let you guys know what it is. And 
see I'll see if I can find out what the limit is too and how many friends you can have on your handle and I'll see you guys online um, for Nintendo um, I'm gonna have Nintendo Land going and obviously Mario might look at getting Zombie U later too so see how I go with these two first and uh, yeah as I said thanks for watching and I'll see you guys with a lot more videos coming soon got the hard drive I actually shot a whole video uh, talking about um, the new, the next lot of videos I'm doing and everything and how I got the hard drive and, and realised I forgot to turn the microphone on so I, there was no sound. So <laughs> I didn't put it up. Um, but yeah, I've got the hard drive sitting there. Just got to install it on the computer and get back on track for, you know, the next Mortal Kombat 9 playthrough, Sonic playthrough, Resident Evil, uh, Pumpkin Face, um, and Double Dragon Neon and uh, Assassin's Creed 3 and Borderlands 2 and I'm going to get on top of all those reviews. So going to be very busy from now on. But first, I'm going to play my Wii U. So I'll see you guys soon. Peace.